everyone, this is Regnant from the Silver Fang Network with another merchandise video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the various figures that have been released throughout the years. Um, so to start off, of course, there are the Kinka Nagarboshi Gin figures. Um, they're just small little plastic figures, uh, solid colored. They come in white, brown... Bronze, silver, uh, blue. And there are different um, runs of these figures. Uh, so this little laying down gin was actually from the second wave of figures. Whereas the standing gin was from the first wave. Um, and there are different colors available in each. Along with different sizes. So, as an example of different sizes, here's the cross figure, both the small and large. Um, the blue was only found in the first wave of figures. They originally came, um, the large figures were in these boxes. And there are different, there's one other um, box design that is blue um, that I don't have. And then they also came in little gashapon machines for these small figures and also all of these second wave figures. Um, and there's a little paper inside which uh, tells you what characters are available. Let me get this guy open here. This is a little Ricky in here. Now, none of the figures came painted, but um, some of the art and advertising material had them painted. So they were supposed to be a uh, paint-it-yourself sort of figure. However, most people do not um, paint these. Uh, yeah. Uh, so next released were, of course, the Game Denzetsu Weed figures. Um are these plastic, slightly rubbery figures um, that have a base. Uh, some of the painting um, makes them kind of derpy. <laughs> sort of an ongoing joke with everyone. Um, and Weed was in the first set of figures released. And there's also a sort of crystal clear blue version of him released that is not painted. As an example then, here is Gin from the second wave of figures. And they're all about the same size. And they came in blind boxes, so you never knew which character you would get. You would just get one of the ones available. This is a box from the second wave, which includes um, some of the Ginga Nagarboshi Gin characters, along with some of the uh, villains. More recently, um, a creator known as Red Shark has been, or has gotten the rights to make a bunch of Ginga figures. Um, they all follow the same mold and just have different paintings on it. Um, he's only done some of the main characters, so Gin, Ricky, Orion, Yakamura. Uh, we're still waiting on others to hopefully be released. But Gin has had a lot of different recolorations of him. So there's the normal sort of manga Gin with the collar. There's sort of the more blue Gin. There's this one, which is sort of fluorescent. And probably my favorite, most fun, there's pink. <laughs> Uh, there are a whole lot more other colorations. Um, there, there are so many um, that this guy has created. Um, I definitely recommend following him on Twitter because that is where he posts sales and he does ship internationally. So if you can just hop on when uh, he says he's selling a certain color of figure, you can get in there right away and get it for the base price. 
Now, they're in Japan, um, it's pretty popular to create model kits um, or garage kits, as they're called. They're unpainted figure kits, um, and they're typically sold and advertised at Wonderfest. Uh, and the creators get a one day copyright to be able to sell a copyrighted character. So they are licensed, but only if sold at Wonderfest. So this is the Orion sort of First Wars figure, so a very chibi version. And you can see in the upper right hand corner, here is the Wonder Festival saying it's it was sold at that event. Um, that's how you can know it's authentic and was acquired legally, is if it has that, one of these Wonder Festival stickers. So if I wanted to put this together, I would need to take it out of here, glue him together, and then paint him. So there's the First Wars Orion. And then they also did a weed figure, which could also be repainted again or other characters. Um, so this is his painted version on the front. If I open this up... You can see this is actually a very nice, hefty, solid figure. Um, you can see the different pieces that have been created through the molds that I could put together um, with the instructions that they give inside the box. They have also created a Yamato uh, figure. Um, however, uh, it wasn't available for sale at the time. Um, they didn't complete... Uh, making all of the figures that they would need to sell. Um, so hopefully at a future event, we will see the Yamato garage kit appear. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the figures that we've shown, um, or any other figure, uh, please check out gingamerch.com. And also feel free to message us on the Silver Fang Network if you have any questions or want to know more about any particular figure.